Hi and welcome to my fourth video in the series. Um, today we're going to be looking at the relationship between ecstasy and serotonin in the brain. So this diagram shows us um, two neurons. So this is your presynaptic neuron and this one is your postsynaptic neuron. Again, pre meaning before and post meaning after. And these are neurons in the brain and these are the neurons that control things like your mood and happiness. And so the drug that we're looking at today is ecstasy, um, otherwise known as sometimes MDMA. And what that causes is that causes a release of this chemical called serotonin. And serotonin is represented on the diagrams by these little um, yellow circles. And they're the neurotransmitter between the nerve cells in the brain that control things like mood and happiness. And what usually happens um, is that the serotonin is usually recycled and then put back into the presynaptic neuron. Um, so this diagram here shows us essentially how it's reset. And so now when another impulse comes in, it's then free to release some more serotonin into the synapse. But what happens when you take ecstasy is the serotonin is not taken back up into the presynaptic neuron like it is here. Essentially what happens is this, the serotonin is blocked from re-entering here and so you have an increased level of serotonin in the synapse and so these neurons consistently fire, hence the feelings of happiness and pleasure that you get when the drug is taken. Now not all research done in this area is absolutely conclusive but from most of the evidence that we have currently there seems to be a link between taking MDMA and ecstasy and um, some forms of depression. Like I said, this isn't a guarantee. Um, taking ecstasy and MDMA doesn't guarantee depression, but it increases your risk. A bit like um, if you're drinking too much, the increased um, risk of liver disease is much higher than if you did not. Okay, in summary, the neurotransmitter in the brain that controls mood and happiness is serotonin. And essentially taking a drug like ecstasy or MDMA increases the level of serotonin in the brain. It does this because it stops it being reabsorbed back into the presynaptic neuron. This causes um, the neurons in the brain that control happiness and mood to fire more regularly. And this increases the um, feelings of pleasure and elation. It has been shown, however, that um, prolonged use of ecstasy can lead to depression. Mm -hmm.